Okay, this is the review I'm talking about is Grand Theft Auto Vegas San Andreas. And for the fucking Xbox 360, and fucking PS2, PS3, PS4, and PS5. And Xbox One Series X. And other games that happen to be like Grand Theft Auto uh, 3 and Vice City. Let me check y'all for any type of more games that I have in my closet. I'll, I'll say what I have this time. I have Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City. Check this out. And now the ones about another freaking Vice City and Mel Mafia stories out there. It's Grand Theft Auto Vice City. This game, I've already enjoyed it since four years. It was kind of fun. Uh, we head on to the fucking uh, Grand Theft Auto 3. On to the buttload of Grand Theft Auto 3. That game looks like it's a shitty game for everyone to love. But trust me, it was worse than the other games of Godfather, Godfather 2, and the God but Mafia 2 or whatever. And some of those uh, open world games were like look like this. And in the whole game, it's Grand Theft Auto 4. And some of the games I fucking beat it's Red Dead Redemption, but I don't remember how I beat Red Dead Redemption. I had to get Red Dead Redemption 2 and this shit. So, I just want to know that this game is fucking cool. So, yeah. Especially with the other ones, too. Obviously, it's just a freaking review of three trilogy games. And Defensive Edition looks kind of bad. So, honestly, it was worse than ever. So, fuck this game. Fuck all these Grand Theft Auto games I don't care about. Like, they were tougher than Spider-Man Defensive Edition. 1 and 2 and 3 on the PS2 version, so check this out if you see it. Alright, now back to the real Spider-Man trilogy of this faggot named Tobey Maguire in the Samurai fucking uh, movie series. But here, Spider-Man 1, the game, is where somebody likes to play this stupid game. And all we got is Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 3 and other stuff. Then we got Spider-Man 3 for the PS2. PS2 and PS3, and some other games that they got everything to do with this shit right there is something they do that in the whole life. I mean, obviously, it was only the first time when Spider Man defeats the faggot named Green Goblin and uh, who killed his fucking son, and Tat totally it was Harry Osborne, he killed, uh, sometimes Peter killed his dad, probably for the first movie. In the second movie, he made so much worse than ever. So, obviously, it was not only the second game. The second game, it will let you do some crime. But free roaming, and where you defeat Dr. Activius and some like that. It's some of the fags. Uh, who, who enjoy this game? It's Marvel Spider-Man for the PS4. Something tells me that this game is freaking good. And it's so much better to the first game. The first game was pretty great, but shitty stealth missions and something like that. Second game was pretty great. And the third game, it will combine with this whole game that never happened in the Wii version for the PS2 either. So the P PS2 and the Wii looks, looks like shit. And actually, it will let you do all the crap patrol missions. But there are glitches everywhere in this stupid game, and honestly, it was bad. It'll take out five storylines to defeat the Venom, those villains, or Morbius and Shrek, and some of the fags, um, faggots, uh, faggots in this game. Uh, they, they got, um, they got more villains than usual, so whatever the crap it is in the freaking. Uh, PS3 version? It has 10 storylines to play, including this stupid movie's plot. All, and then, Scorpion and other faggots. Trust me, it was good. <clears throat> but I don't know how this was about in the game, but you can defeat not New Goblin and Sandman and other shit when you're wearing this stupid suit. This black suit, faggot suit. Makes him who looks like he was a total nigger. And every time Spider-Man was the shit. He, he looks like he was taking a beating around with these 
these idiots. And I thought this game was going to be really good, but it looks like shit to Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. And they don't even look like that, so obviously it was bad as hell to the point. So, no pun intended for this shit. Now, let's check on to the fucking, um, the Amazing Spider-Man PS3, Amazing Spider-Man 2, and Marvel Spider-Man Fine, final game, right there. So, see? I want y'all to check this out. Okay, now for the Amazing Spider-Man for the freaking PS3, Xbox 60, those were the ones that had to do with this game. And now that if you have free roaming game like this in Spider-Man 2, it was great. Now that everybody knows it, it's our time to, if Spider-Man changed suits already, if it was in the game, so, yeah, if he was in Manhattan, he knows how to swing better. Just like in uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2, that game was only great as how it looks. And now going on with Amazing Spider-Man uh, 2 DLC, this will let you wear his suits at once, but... Obviously, he wouldn't, but actually, you you may want to take on foes and other fags and try, like, Electro and other guys, too. Craven the Hunter or Scorpion or something from Amazing Spider-Man 2. I can't believe that he changed his suits, but the only, oh, but only for this eight years and only, but I don't know why they got this game, but it's only true that it is. But... Now for the amazing uh, Marvel Spider-Man. It's so much better to the Spider-Man 2 the game. It was great. It's Insomniatic just got it now. So only the link only the link is people love this game. And you got several villains who may who may dress up as you're wearing an FPS4 outfit. Sometimes he looks like he was gonna do something great. Like in the whole game. I tried this game before. It was fun as heck. So, yeah. It looks like that's it for the reviews. And check it out. Uh, may have to check out Red the Bottle 5 or something. And now for the whole freaking Red the Bottle 4 in this process. It's a stupid game. It replaced Nico Billick and his idiots too. You may want to track down those motherfuckers out there. In this whole game, but I just don't want to know about this game if it's going to be good or terrible. But it could be terrible now in these days. So, yeah, despite with the Grand Theft Auto from games, like Grand Theft Auto 4 was good for me, but they had DLC and episode C. But now we are moving to Grand Theft Auto 5. It was only better than it was, but it's only stupider than ever. So, obviously, it was a great game. But sometimes it sucks. I don't like the missions in any way, but sometimes you play as three characters and shit like that. So I'm like, I already figured out where I play PS2 games over the years, and I played too many PS2 games. They were old and action adventure, probably some kind of ungrateful in time, but it's cool. I, I ever tried Scooby Doo once, so this is it for this stupid review of Grand Theft Auto Spider Man. So that's how it goes, guys. So, yeah. Tune on with the next review. Check out for some stuff. I don't know what I figured out, but see you later.